Hey, world changers, it's me, Miss McCarthy, with your Florida Fast Math freebie of the week. I've created this weekly math video series to help you all feel calm and confident when it's time to throw down your best on Florida's Fast Math Assessment. Each week, we practice a specific question type. Now, these videos, they're short, they're sweet, and they are to the point. And if you know that you need some more practice when it comes to math, I totally have your back, and I will point you in the direction of some more videos at the end of this episode today. The focus for this week is is drum roll multi select so let's not waste any more time let's get to it and let me teach ya what's going on fifth grade here is your problem this week so go ahead and pause the video and try this one on your own first then when you're ready to continue press play and oh by the way you might need a square corner and scratch piece of paper for this one because that's what we'll be using when we go over it, okay? All right, I'll see you soon. Welcome back, fifth grade. Let's go over this one. So this says, select all of the triangles that can be classified as obtuse and as an obtuse isosceles triangle. So it needs to be obtuse and it needs to be isosceles. So I'm gonna go ahead and jot down some notes here that an obtuse triangle, we need one obtuse angle. And isosceles means that we need how many sides to be equal or the same? Yeah, two sides the same, that's isosceles. Okay, two sides that are equal in length or the same size. By the way, I'm gonna go ahead and link a geometry song that I have for this to help you remember what does obtuse mean, what's isosceles, and all about triangles. So I'll include that just in case you need a review. All right, so let's go over this. The very, you know what, the way that I'm gonna tackle this is to look for the obtuse angle first. So we're gonna look at each one of these rectangles Ugh, they're not rectangles. We're gonna we're going to look at each one of these triangles and we're going to try to see if we can identify an obtuse angle. So an obtuse angle is wider than a right angle. So if we have a square corner and we measure it up, we line up our angles and it looks wider, we've got an obtuse angle. The way that I'm filming this, I cannot get a piece of paper, but I'm going to mimic what it would look like with a piece of paper. So here I go with a red piece of paper, but you can use any square corner as long as it's a perfect square corner on a sheet of paper. So looking here, I can tell that for the very first one, okay, I can tell that this angle is acute and I can tell that that angle is acute, but I'm not sure about the top angle. So what I'm going to do is take my square corner and I'm going to tilt it and try to Put it right where this angle, line it up perfectly. Oh, oh my goodness, this looks just like a right. You can see that my square corner lines up perfectly with that corner up top. So this is not an obtuse angle. What kind of angle is it? It's right. Yes, this is a right angle. So therefore, we can go ahead and eliminate this one because we don't see an obtuse angle. I do believe that this is isosceles though, um, which means that those two sides are the same. But because I've already identified there is no obtuse angle, we can move on. Now this one right here, look at this skinny angle, that's acute. This one is acute and I can tell for sure, I can tell that this one right here is obtuse. So I'm just going to line it up with one of the rays of that angle the best that I can. All right, that's about as good as I can get it. And there you can see that this other side goes out wider than a right, right there. So that is obtuse. So I'm gonna come back to this one and check to see if it's isosceles in just a minute. Moving on to that third triangle, I can tell that this side is acute, this side is acute. If you needed to try to get your square corner in there, you would see that it goes behind it. And this one down here, it looks obtuse, but let's just check to make sure. Try my best to line this up right here. That's about as good as I can get it. And we can see that the other side extends past that right corner. So we know that this is obtuse, obtuse right here. But looking at it, I am seeing different looking sides, but I'll come back to that because I did identify one obtuse angle. All right, coming over here, these three angles are acute. 
so we can eliminate that one. For this one, this would be an acute angle and this would be an acute angle. And what kind of angle is up here? Yeah, it's an obtuse angle. If you want to pause the video to try to put your square corner in there, go ahead. And then over here, we know that this is acute, this is acute, and the top one is obtuse as well. So let's go back to the ones that have the question marks and identify which ones are isosceles. So the way that I would do that, it's gonna be a little different to show on a device, but I will do the best I can. So if, it, if I were using a piece of scratch paper, I would take that scratch paper, put one corner at the start, and then mark the length of that side. Then I would turn that paper to the other one to see if it was the same length. And if you notice for this one, it is the same length. So because those are two sides the same, and then this one over here would definitely be longer. See, this one goes way longer. So we have two sides the same. That means that this one contains an obtuse angle and isosceles because there are two sides the same. So we can mark that one. I'm going to take to measure some of these sides. So let me get the measure of the first side. My tool was being a little fussy with this one. So I'm gonna let you know that these three sides, they actually are all three different sides. So this would be a scalene triangle. It would be obtuse. Let me put this up here. So this would be obtuse and isosceles for that one that we just did. This one is obtuse, but it's scaling because we have three different sides. Again, you could use your paper to measure it and then just line up that paper along the angles. For the other question mark, we do have an obtuse angle. And if you were to measure all the side lengths, you would see that we have, again, three different side lengths. So that would be obtuse scaling. And this final one, these two sides are the same size. You can take your paper and measure it your scratch paper, and then this one would be the side that is not the same. So this would be obtuse and isosceles. So it would be those two answers right there. And then just for kicks, let me go ahead and put that this one would be a right isosceles triangle. This would be an acute equilateral triangle. We have three acute angles and we have three equal sides, equilateral. So again, your paper, your square corners are a gem here. Definitely use those to your advantage. Um, you can just put it up on your screen and just start measuring it around. That's totally fine when you're taking the fast math test. So that's how you do this one. Go ahead and pause the video if you need to jot down any notes. And again, if you need a review on obtuse, acute, right, scalene, equilateral, isosceles, all of those terminology, all that vocabulary, check out the geometry vocabulary video that I've linked below, all right? Go ahead and take care of that, pause the video. When you're ready to continue, press play. Now here's a message for the grown-ups in your life. If you are a teacher, parent, or educational leader looking to support your students with more practice in a safe environment, follow me over to McCarthyMathAcademy.com for tons of math videos specifically geared towards Florida's best standards. Just know that I would love the opportunity to make math fun, make it click, and make it stick for your students. So make sure that you all check out the link somewhere around this video. Before we go, let me remind you that Practice is not something we do once we're good, it's the one thing we do that makes us good. If you want to get better, stronger, more confident with something, then you have got to make intentional time to practice. And while you're practicing, it's important to throw down your very best effort. That way you can get better over time. I believe in you, but the magic and the power really kicks in when you start to believe in yourself. I'll see you next time, world changers. Bye-bye.